Novag Diamond 2 Chess Computer. In this video, we're going to take this communication cable and hook it up from the Novag Diamond 2 to this PC right here, which has Arena software loaded and also the chess engine called Stockfish. Now, some may think this video is maybe boring, like watching paint dry. While other people like chess enthusiasts and computer nerds, this video is gold, baby, gold. Now, as you see, the Start Novak Support button is circled in red, and we're going to select that and start the process now. So let's select the Start button, and as you see, it says Novak Controls Arena. Hit Options up there, and we see COM6, 9600 baud rate, stop bit 1, and parity no. Hit information, get information, ID, diamond 2, 1.02. Type in I, which is a command for information, and you get the same information. So we're going to do option U1H. The Novag plays with some human intervention. So let's type in the commands now. X on, which is transmit on. U on, which is referee on. And human mode. We're we'll also typing S4, which will show more information in the white window. And we're going to hit a level, AT1 for Novag, which is two seconds per move. So let's type in level AT1, and that will set Novag to two seconds a move. Also, we have to pull down and set Stockfish to two seconds a move, too. And we'll do that. And let's type in P, and that will show what Novag thinks the initial position is. And now to commence the game, we either press the Go key or type in J. And now the game is commenced with the move D2 to D4 by Novak. Now, because I'm in human mode, I do have to move the piece manually for Novak in the GUI interface. Stockfish moves that automatically, his knight move, and then I gotta press the Go key. And now the second move is C2, C4, and Stockfish will respond with his move. Now let me explain to you the E7, E6 move. That is communicated back to Novag through Novag's white information board there. And you can see it registered E7, E6, and then in Novag's display window below, it's also registered as E7, E6. And that's how Novag and Stockfish communicate with each other through XMIT on. Okay, let's press go and continue the game. Now, we do have to press go because we do we are in the mode where referee is on, you on. And we do have to make the move manually in the GUI interface because we're in human mode. And you can toggle those back and forth and be in different modes, and I'll show you that as the video goes on. But now let's look at Novag's opening moves. It's called the book. He's an opening book. And as you see, I have book squared out three times in red. And that means that Novag isn't thinking it. It's just going by its memory of opening book. And the book it's following is D38, the Queen Gambit Decline Ragazone Variation. Now let's continue with the game. There's still an opening book, at least Novag, because I can see his moves are an opening book. Let's continue observing the game here as Novag 2 plays Stockfish. And when Novag gets out of opening book, the information window is going to show more information. And at that time, I'll stop the video and explain that further. Now you see above, it has spit out more information, and that's no vague thinking. It is now out of opening book. And let me explain these values. The value in the red square D04 means Novag's thinking a depth of 4 ply. And in the blue square, 0.53, 
that's its evaluation on the game, that it's 0.53 or half a pawn ahead. The 33 over 34 in the green square, that means Novag in this position has 34 possible moves and it has calculated 33 of them. In the pink square, 4,197, that's nodes per second, that's how fast it's thinking. And to the right of that is the evaluation line. Now let's go down to the lower left. That stockfish, red circle, means it has 23 legal moves in that position. And the blue circle means it is calculating at 508 nodes per second. And in the orange circle right there in the middle, it's stockfish is thinking at depth 15 and its evaluation that it's 0 0.31 down. And we'll continue to observe the game. Uh, pressing go key because U is on. That means referee on. And making the move manually in the GUI interface because we are in human mode. Now I'm going to press the information key here on the Novag board and we're going to analyze the information here that's spitting out in its window below. It says negative 0.26 and it has a little white square in the top right of that circle. Well that matches the white window above with the blue circle at 0.26. The only thing different is the negative and that's because that information below is from Black's perspective and it is white's move. And as you notice in the black line, the second move is F8 to A8. That's what Novag deemed a good move for Stockfish was, and that's what it was calculating. But if you see in Stockfish's black square below, F8 to E8 is its third best. So Novag didn't even calculate the C7, C5, or C7, C6. It goes to show you the difference between, you know, Stockfish and Novag's evaluations. Now let's continue on with the game. As you see in the white information window, Novag is calculating to a depth of five. Now let's look at this information window next time. And I'll explain it a little further. Now we're going to change options now to option U1V, which Novag plays semi-automatically. And the only thing difference between this version, this mode, and the last mode is human mode. We're going to change the video mode. But referees on, x mid on, that's all the same. And you'll notice the difference here when I make the moves. So i got to press go to commence because referee is on but as you notice I didn't have to make the move manually the GUI interface is working automatically for both of them now so I'll press go the bishop moves the queen moves automatically I just have to make the moves in the Novag board so that changed because we put video mode on and we turn human mode off the bad thing about having human mode off is we don't get the information, we don't get Novag's think in the white information window. But we can get it this way, by pressing the info button, and as you see, it's negative point zero eight zero, which means Novag thinks white is up by point eight.
So again, let's try this. Press the go button. Then the GUI interface will automatically make that move with the bishop and the pawn capturing the bishop. And I just have to duplicate those moves on the Novag board. Now let's press the information window again and I'm going to explain this further. Now Novag thinks it's up by 0.84. So, and we see that Stockfish only says, hey, I'm up by 0.08. So this is an interesting part of the game because right now Stockfish says, no, I'm up 0.72. So now let's change another mode, U0H, where Novag plays with some human intervention. We don't have to press go anymore, but the human, because we're turning referee off, as you see in the white information window, and we're turning human mode back on. That means with human mode on, we got to make the moves manually in the GUI interface. So... Press go to commence, and we get the think back. That's good. And I have to make the move manually now because we're in human mode. But as you'll see, I don't have to press go anymore because once I make the GUI move, Stockfish is moving automatically, and Novag responds, so I don't have to hit the go key. I just have to make the move in the Novag board, and also the GUI. And then Stockfish responds, and the same thing. Novag already made his move, D4, D5. I just have to make it in the board and in the GUI. And then after I make that move, Stockfish will respond again, and it goes on this way. And as you see, we have the nice information window flowing again, so we see Novag's think. So let's take a look at this think. 1.46. Novag thinks it's... Novag thinks black is up 1.46. And as you see in the white information window, which is from white's perspective, Novag thinks that white is down by 1.46. And in Stockfish's evaluation, is it thinks it's ahead 2.08. So they're pretty much, you know, a half a pawn difference, but I think Novag is getting the idea now that it's losing. So, the, you know, the last few moves were interesting because that's when Stockfish really stepped up and took it to Novag. Because, you know, Novag had like a half pawn lead. But now the game is getting out of control where Stockfish is ahead plus two. And he's probably on to winning. But that doesn't surprise me. I mean, what, Novag's thinking at depth five and Stockfish is thinking, right, look at depth 16. So, but they're both at two seconds a move. So that shows you that the new technology. Well, let's go to the final option, option U0V where Novag plays totally automatically without any human in intervention. I just have to turn referee off and video mode on. Because you know, referee off, I don't have to press go. And video mode on, I don't have to move it in the GUI. So let's type those commands in and then commence the game again by making the last move F2, F4 for white. And now, you just sit back and watch. And because I can't move the real board that quick, I'm going to zoom in on the display window. And we'll just watch the Arena GUI make Stockfish's move and then Novag's move.
and uh, let me speed it up here because I want to get to the interesting part. I mean, you know, no stockfish is up by like seven, but I want to show you um, how Novag resigns. So we're going to wait for that to happen. And I slowed it down now because it's approaching quickly. So as you see, Novag has resigned on move 47. And watch that white circle. It blinks once, and that's Novag's resigning. Um, and they resign at about 12, I think, when he's 12 down. Now let's wait for the mate. I'll speed it up, and we'll wait for the mate, because I want to show you the display window on that and how it looks. So Stockfish is now going for the Coupe de Gras. Check mate. And as you see in the window, lower window, that's blinking Nate because it doesn't have an M. I'll circle it in yellow for you. So there are some other commands, as you see in the left-hand window, and I'll show you those. And you can type those in the display window in the information window and you can do those commands. I've showed you a few already, but I'll type in G now and that will replay the game. So let's just type in G and see what happens. And as you see, Arena starts from the beginning of the game and just plays all the moves. And as you see in the information window, it's a nice little PNG file of the game in case you want to save it um, and play it later or analyze it later with Stockfish's top level. Um, like I said, I've only played Stockfish at two seconds a move. It's playing maybe at a level about 2300. Novag at two seconds a move is playing maybe at 15, 1600 ELO. So there is a difference because of the technology now. But I thank you for watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Goodbye for now.